interdimensional monsters, psychic rituals, and one very creepy clown. If you're confused by the bizarre saga of the Losers Club, you aren't alone. Put away your paper sailboats and grab your red balloons, because this is the IT timeline fully explained. The shape-shifting entity known as IT is actually billions of years old and is classified in the Stephen King multiverse as coming from a tribe of fear-eating horrors known as Glamours. It was born in a dimension outside of our own galaxy known as the Macroverse, but has since established a home on Earth. The true identity of It, as well as its real name, remains unknown, but it's sometimes been referred to as the Deadlights. What is its true form? I hope it's a puppy. King's lore says that no human being could actually visually process its true form, and would instead perceive it as a gigantic spider. If someone actually tried to comprehend anything further, they'd end up like poor Beverly Marsh in the 2017 film, dead-eyed and floating in Pennywise's cistern, until they're rescued by True Love's kiss. Thanks, Ben. Early in the history of Derry, it unleashed a reign of terror that caused the disappearance of a great deal of settlers. Afterwards, it then spent centuries shape-shifting and feeding, frequently taking the form of Pennywise the Dancing Clown. Just about everything bad in the history of Derry can be traced back to the direct or indirect influence of it, from the Derry Ironworks explosion to the death of little Georgie Denbro. Each event took place roughly 27 years after the last, with an odd character, aka it, present at just about every scene. The main story in King's novel, the miniseries, and the films all begin when Georgie Denbro leaves his home to play with his paper boat in the rain. The falling water washes away Georgie's boat and leads him to a sewer drain, where he meets It in the form of Pennywise the Clown. Hiya, Georgie. What a nice boat. Georgie is skeptical of the clown at first, but ultimately he doesn't seem too afraid. When Pennywise offers him back his paper boat, he reaches out to grab it. But it proves to be a fatal mistake, as Pennywise chops down on Georgie. No one in Derry truly questions what really happened to the little boy, leaving his older brother Bill, the de facto leader of the Losers Club, to try and solve the mystery alongside his circle of friends. The more Bill and fellow losers, Eddie, Richie, Mike, Ben, Stanley, and Beverly pry into the truth of it as children, the more intimately terrifying the entity becomes. After weeks of tyranny, kidnapping, and possession, the losers venture into the sewers, where they find the monster's underground lair. After coming face to face with what they each fear the most, the losers battle with it, eventually forcing the beast back into hibernation for another 27 years. Beverly, having seen the true face of the Deadlights, knows that this bout with it will not be their last. The losers make a blood pact to return to Derry as adults if it returns, swearing to defeat the monster once and for all. 27 years later, Mike Hanlon, the sole loser to stay in Derry as an adult, alerts the crew that it has returned. The crew all agree to return to Derry with the exception of Stanley, who decides to take his own life rather than relive his childhood horrors. The remaining six meet up at a Chinese restaurant and reminisce with one another before it makes its presence known, beginning a new wave of terror. Unfortunately, they don't just have to deal with it as an entity, they also have to deal with Henry Bowers, their former bully who's fallen under its evil influence. In the novel, the only way to defeat it is by performing the ritual of Chud, a psychic battle of wills requiring the power of imagination. Yes, it's just as weird as it sounds. The ritual is how Bill defeats it for the first time in the book, but he needs help from the other losers as an adult because he's lost his sense of childlike wonder. The key to defeating it is simply believing that you can. This kills monsters, if you believe it does. The film, on the other hand, presents the ritual of Chud as an ancient ceremony first performed by the indigenous tribes outside of Derry. This version of the ritual requires sacrificial tokens that will force it into its true form, which will allow the losers to trap it in a ceremonial jar. Most of It Chapter 2 is focused on each member of the Losers Club tracking down their own sacred items, before finally facing off with It for the last time. King's original novel involves Pennywise possessing Beverly's abusive husband Tom and kidnapping Bill's wife Audra as a way to lure the losers to his lair. However, the losers manage to gain the upper hand by successfully completing the ritual of Chud, causing a storm that destroys both It and the entire town of Derry. The group goes their separate ways, and the memories of their horrific past begin to fade over time. It Chapter 2, on the other hand, goes in a wildly different direction. The six surviving losers head to It's lair to perform the ritual, but it fails. 
It takes on the form of a gigantic clown spider, killing Eddie as the group tries to fight back. When they realize they need to make It feel small in order to destroy it, they begin hurling insults at It, much like those they received as children. It shrinks smaller and smaller before the losers rip out its heart, demolishing the monster for good. They escape the now-destroyed lair, vowing to stay in touch and to never forget all that they've been through together. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Slash Film videos about your favorite horror movies are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.